Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So my buddy, Randy Law, brought me a racket and said, remember when you did the video on people buying racket based on color and looks? I was like, yeah, my wife did that. Here's the racket. Good morning somewhere. Good morning everywhere. Uh, coffee sponsor of the day. Ken Ang. Ken writes, hi, enjoy the coffee. Here's something. I found out buy me a coffee needs a real valid email account to give coffee. Cannot fake. Ha 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 is what he wrote. I guess Ken wanted to be anonymous. Well, Ken, you're famous now for buying me a coffee. I appreciate you. All right. If you want to buy me a coffee and uh, uh, get a shout out, maybe you want to put someone because I got a lot of someones here. All right. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you guys so much for keeping it rolling. If you want to buy me a coffee, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you so much. All right. So, uh, my buddy Randy and his wife actually came by and said, we got a couple rackets for you. And he told me stories about each of these rackets. And he, he had mentioned that on my video about women particularly buying rackets just for looks and color. I understand that. And he's like, well, here's the one she bought because of how it looks. I can get that, right? We got the neon going. We got a very kind of late 80s, 90s vibe going on here. More like late 80s, real early 90s, where neon was in, right? Pink was hot. We even got the pink strings here. So I, I definitely can see that. I could definitely see that. This is what this side looks like. And here's, we got a little more navy on the other side. And he, he, Randy was like, are you familiar with this? And I'm like, not really. I'm only familiar with the Andre racket, the Andre Agassi racket. And he's like, well, here, take it. Um, you can have it. It's chalk it up to our mistake. And so his wife actually said, yeah, I regret it buying it. It's a pretty bad racket. Um, so I was looking at it and I'm like, man, that's the original grip on there. So look at that. That's the original Donna grip and it's not falling apart. This thing is called a FST Fuga Pro. And I don't remember them doing one eighth grips back then, but here is one. Let's see what it says here. Variable section technology aerodynamicism. Wow, what a word. Dynamic construction technology using graphite air mid fibers. Long, straight handle leather grip. Hmm, that's all it says. Okay. You know what? Let's get some numbers from this just to see what what we, we're, we're working with here. Let me zero that out. All right, let's see how much this thing weighs. Whoa, is that right? Yeah, 11.8. And then it is in grams, 334. That's a pretty hefty bracket here. Let's check balance. It's 
But here's the confusing part. There's like a little knob on the end, literally a knob. If I'm counting the knob, we're looking at 333. Three, excuse me, 313. If we're not looking at the knob, we're looking at about 320. <laughs> 328. See how, see how a knob sticks out? I wonder if it's a counterweight there. So if you count the knob, it's back here. If you don't count the knob, it's up there. So it's a little interesting. Yeah, I could feel the weight. All right. Let's check out the swing weight. Three eighteen. Let's go analyze. All right, let's take a look at some of these numbers here. Um, strung weight is that. We're into a little above blade range here. Balance is a little above. Swing weight is. So it, it's, it's, it reminds me of a slightly heavier blade. So if Blade had a Pro, Blade Pro, well, it does have a Blade Pro, but a, let's say a Blade Tor, <laughs> you know, which is a little heavier than a normal blade into that 11 ounce, 11 one ounce realm. It would be, it would have these numbers. Um, it's definitely on the head heavier side, which most rackets were these days. The beam is definitely um, kind of very, like a 22 millimeter is what it's looking like, 23 maybe at the most. 22 and a half is probably what I'm guessing it is. Um, good amount of weight in the head though, as you can see right there. Uh, but it kind of feels like a little stick too, to me. I don't know what it is about this racket, maybe because it's pink. Let's see if, uh, let's see if Rob's available. Maybe, uh, he can shed a little light on the racket. Maybe he knows something about the racket. See you on the court. All right, Coach Rob, what'd you think of that Don A hot pink racket with the hot pink strings called a Fuga? You know, um, it was very interesting. I, I This kind of was a little strange. I couldn't tell if this was uh, just a plastic guard or if it was supposed to add weight or because usually, you know, you're wearing the racket up, wearing it out up here, not on the side. Um, once I, uh, you know, found the sweet spot and... Um, Hit a few with it. The grip was exceedingly small, a one eighth, um, and uh, so it was interesting. I could see why it wasn't a big, you know, I could see why maybe she didn't like it, um, other than she liked the color. But it wouldn't be one I would go run out and grab myself. So it brings back a lot of memories for me. I had, I had an OP shirt that was that color. <laughs> 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 the Izod shirt and the OP shorts, and uh, did you have a Mother Karen to go with it? Oh God, all of them, all of that stuff, man. It, it just like it, the color just like reminates eighties, eighties, right. yeah, Madonna, yeah, right, big hair, exactly, and 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 um, bright, these flashy. bright colors. What do they call it? Neon, 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 right. So, but yeah, no, I I actually didn't mind it very much. It kind of reminded me of. Uh, it actually reminded me of a Yamaha racket, one of those secret oh, right. EXs or something I, I like that. I had one of those back in the day. Yeah, that's, it kind of reminded me of that. Hmm. I, I think this, I think what Coach Rob is referring to, this piece right here, I think it's a, it's a PWS, their version of a perimeter weighting system. Hmm. Plus, obviously, it seconds as a guard so that when you actually do scrub, if you get down this low, um, you'll scrub away the Don A name. You know, not that it matters anyways, but yeah, no, actually it's a solid racket. I, I mean, 
Would I buy it? Eh, probably not. Would I buy it for his color? Eh, maybe. You know, so I get it. I get it. You know, I get it why you bought it. I mean, back in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, you would buy anything that was like this color. Like, man, woman didn't really matter. Neon was it. Pink, this hot pink was it. I had t-shirts in this color. I had shorts in this color. You know, you'd have to live it to know if you're <laughs> if you're not of that age okay all right i wish we, i wish i could take everybody back for to that just to show you like what that was all about you know what i'm saying it's so different than it is now enough about that all right um but yeah no, it's, it ain't a bad racket it ain't a bad racket i haven't seen a four and one eighth um uh, in a racket this old ever actually like, I didn't think they actually made eights back then. But um, this might have been meant for a woman. Therefore, they started making eights. So, um, but yeah, it ain't it ain't bad. It ain't bad. Mm. And it man, woman, racket, it don't matter. It's all the color that matters. All right, I want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for hanging out with me today and bringing back some neon on this Donne FST Fuga Pro. And who knows what Fuga means. Not Guga, but Fuga. All right. Thank you, Coach Rob, as yeah. always. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Man, it's windy today. Am I at the right club? Where is this wind coming from? I should have restrung my racket. My eyes are so itchy. My socks don't quite. How am feel I gonna right? deal with this wind? Man, it's windy today. I gotta make sure I I'm tight. Better to string in those Man, shoes. Why is this water water so freaking windy today? Tight. Where is that water bottle? Did I, lock Did I remember my? Where is wind coming from? Where is my phone? Was I supposed to get my kid from school? Yeah, I think I lost my water. Do I don't I need a water battery bottle. Life on my did I bring the right ball? I think I need a massage. Man, did I have enough coffee Maybe today? Or is this how am I going to deal with this wind? Screen today? Right. Let's open the APEAK app and find my Zen. As you prepare for your match, let's talk briefly about consistency. Time to play. 